Hello, it's Jonathan, a.k.a. Senor Smoke at the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. I wanted to jump on camera really quickly uh, because I wanted to tackle a question that I am constantly, constantly asked, which is, uh, what is the best way to clean my grill? And it doesn't matter, I get that question from gas grill customers, pellet customers, charcoal, Kamado, wood burners, doesn't, doesn't matter. Everybody, same fundamental question. I personally subscribe to the method of letting the uh, grill do the work and burn off everything, okay? Um, but there's a caveat to that, which I'm gonna talk about. It's the purpose of this video. Um, on the grate level, okay, and all grills have grates, doesn't matter whether you burn, what kind of fuel you're burning, every, there is a grate, right? So um, I think the grates actually, um, getting some type of scraper will do some justice to it. I don't subscribe to metal bristles. They've been proven to be dangerous. They leave residue on the grates, which you're eventually gonna adjust with your hamburger or whatever you're cooking, and we don't want that in our digestive tract, right? So we, um, we we sell wooden scrapers here. I'm picking up some other ones for the store. Um, uh, those are to be used at the great level and they work to a certain extent. But nothing will substitute a good high heat burning. And again, that doesn't matter what type of grill you have, high heat is a good thing. But high heat must be monitored, okay? So what happened, I want to give you a little for instance of the way we're not supposed to do it. So I have a customer who has a Primo uh, ceramic grill, okay? So he burns charcoal in there. So about a week ago, he calls me up. He's like, hey, man, Jonathan, um, uh, I can't open the lid of my Primo. It's, it's completely sealed shut. I'm like, well, what happened? Okay, I mean, it happened to me one time during the winter. That's because it froze. Um, he said that he did a self-clean burning. He wanted to clean the grill off. And um, after he was done, he couldn't open the lid. So I spoke to the owner of Primo kind of put our heads together. He goes, how long did he let the, uh, the grill burn for? And um, my customer said, well over an hour with a basically a full plate of charcoal in there. No, 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 okay? Absolutely, what happened was he actually melted the felt insulation that runs around the rim of the grill and that became basically glue and that's why you couldn't open the lid. So the key point Okay, and this, this is also very, very relevant to the gas grills, the Lynx, the Alfresco, whatever you're using. If you're gonna do a high heat burning, in my opinion, don't let it go for more than 20 to 30 minutes. I have had customers, I've done it myself, I, my Alfresco, I've pushed the Alfresco to over 800 degrees, okay? That's at the hood level. I will guarantee you, that the grates, it was definitely over a thousand degrees, particularly if you have an infrared sear burner. When you are operating at those temperatures, as one of my good buddies in the business said to me, you are at that point operating at temperatures used for cremation, okay? You do not want to put your grill, I don't care how well it's built, handcrafted, this, that, whatever, they are not, no matter what alloy it is, they are not going to hold up well for extended periods of time under that heat. You're basically creating a kiln, all right? So, the rule of thumb moving forward, I don't care what kind of grill you have, you do not want to do a high heat burn-in for more than 20 to 30 minutes. So, for instance, let's just say you have the Lynx, you have an Alfresco, you have some type of gas premium grill with a ceramic briquette system. I would burn for a half an hour and what I would do is I would take the briquette tray and flip it at 15 minutes in, if both sides are dirty, if that's what you're trying to, to accomplish. If only one side is dirty, then you leave him in the whole time. But moving forward, 20 to 30 minutes, okay? You will start to disrupt the integrity of the grill. The hood, the insides potentially start to scale and blister. The ceramic could start to crack on the um, on the uh, you know on your on your primos, your Kamado Joes, whatever else, you know, your big green eggs for those who have those as well. And you saw what happened to my friend, my customer, who, as I just stated, he basically sealed the whole uh, lid shut because of the amount of heat that he was using. Remember, cardinal rule here: every time you use the grill, clean it. It's not that difficult. I'm not talking about doing a high heat 20 to 30 minute burning. I'm talking about you making hamburgers for your family, you make a chicken cutlet, something like that. You plate it, get them off, plate them, bring them inside, leave the grill on for five minutes, go outside with your scraper and just scrape down the grates. That's, it's that simple. And let the heat do the rest. 
five minutes, turn the grill off, you're done. You will be surprised at how it's, the grill is gonna hold up much better, okay, by doing a quick little scrape every time you use it. Folks, that's about it. If you are in the Tri-State area, come by and visit the Ring of Fire. If you need appliances, go upstairs and visit Curto's. But to my friends across the country, uh, if you come into New York, the New York area on business, as some of you have, come up and visit. Hang, come to the Ring of Fire and uh, see what we're doing over here. Thank you very much. Peace out.